Sure. Which one should I? Kitne saare? Is this on? Yeah. Uh, huh? Should I start? Yeah. Okay. We are launching our Indian wear line, Ika. It's not very Indian. Zada Indian nahi hai. Mujhe jo hai, so hai. Basically, um, the collection is about female abuse because aajkal what's been going on in India is rape and all of these problems we're having with women, right? When we're blaming society for what's going on, but we realize a lot of the problems come from women themselves being insecure, not standing up for themselves. Anyhow, so the collection is all based on that and showing powerful women. That's why her dress, she's a warrior bride, gladiator warrior bride. Um, we do not, did not go with the traditional red color dress because it's, you know, it's a, white is the color of God and she's warrior, she doesn't need to wear the conventional things. And that's what the collection is about. You could not have put it any better, but uh, like she said, it's uh, empowering women. Uh, and today we women have the opportunity to be really strong and stand up for ourselves, right? Yeah. And uh, if you want to do something as a woman, go ahead and do it. Nothing's stopping you to exactly. do that. So uh, that is what uh, your line is. Uh, Always, yeah. Uh, represents. It, it represents strong women and standing up and having a point of view. And uh, like she said that uh, if you have to say no, say no. You have that choice to say no. So, or if you want to say yes and you want to do something, go for it, fight for it. And Don't blame society. And, yeah. And Don't blame society. Yeah. Don't bail India. Don't blame the abuse. You have to stand up for yourself. That's the whole point in India. We have so many problems because of we're not standing up, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what the line is uh, based on. Yeah. She's perfect because um, she's, you know, see the choice of even the movie that she's done and the choices she's making are choices that are not, they're not conventional. And she's young. She is the new generation of our country. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, making sure I don't. Mm, I think like 15 to 20 kilos. What's the weight of the man in your life? I think my costume is much lighter than the man in your life. <laughs> exactly. It's, they say no, it's a man's wall, I think. So okay, wasn't? Did, did, you know, I saw Sarika ji sitting in the front row. Did Sarika ji give you any tips you know, before you came on the ramp? Uh, she actually <laughs> let me figure that myself and let me do it myself. Uh, my mom believes in letting you as a girl she is a very strong woman herself and she herself said discover for yourself so i did and i had kanika to help me and uh yeah very interesting you know what i spoke to you last time where you said that you want some designers to get design for you so what is it that you're looking for because you're new in the industry um well to be honest uh when i saw kanika's work i was like oh my gosh now i, I found my soulmate in fashion so <laughs> i can definitely say what how she designs is some it's definitely what i love and it's powerful it has something to say you know so and it stands out and is very unique and fearless to be oneself yeah that's the first time uh no this is the first time uh, what is the experience like you want different do you find acting and definitely new for me, so I enjoyed it. And yeah, it was wonderful. What do you enjoy more, acting or? Uh, don't say, they don't answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, the collection was called Palace of Mirrors. It's um, inspired by this uh, mosaic wall in the Shish Mahal in Amer. And um, what I fell in love with was the pattern, the mirror mosaic work. And I wanted to explore that as a, a you know, texture. So we've used a lot of um, mirrors, of course, and leather applique and all, and taken that to into a contemporary Indian zone. A little bit about your showstopper. 
So, um, uh, Tamanna and me have been working with each other for a few months and uh, she's worn a few of our clothes, especially lehengas, and she's looked amazing. I think what she, um, uh, you know, uh, stands for is a classic Indian beauty in, you know, in today's time. Because, like, we've heard of beauties like Madhubala and, you know, in uh, Indian cinema. And uh, now we have lovely actresses. Some act well, some have great bodies, some have, like, very contemporary Indian looks. But I think Tamanna has that classic Indian beauty and uh, she's an actress today. And I think that was perfect for Palace of Mirrors because it's got that old world beauty but uh, in a contemporary interpretation, which is what I wanted Tamanna to, you know, portray.